guys welcome back to my channel this is acrylic painting with me Julie E and if you're just joining us for the first time welcome welcome I hope you enjoy yourself I hope you enjoy yourself enough to hit the thumbs up the subscribe and possibly even share it and tell your friends about me uh, what we are doing today is a really simple basic um, diptych so two canvases, these are equal size, and what we're using is just three basic colors. So I've got Artist Loft Flow Black, and Artist Loft Flow White, and then a gold. I am going to use Liquitex Basics Gold, but you can use any gold you like. And the pouring medium I'm going to be using is Elmer's School Glue and water. That's it. I mix them in these containers, but until you get an empty container, you might want to get a large pitcher. I pour 70 ounces of this glue into the pitcher, and then on top of that, 30 ounces of very warm tap water and then I shake it or stir it to the point of insanity. And yeah, that's what our school glue pouring medium is. Now, when it comes to the paints, I mix one part paint, two parts of the pouring medium. So one ounce of the gold, two ounces of the pouring medium. Okay, so let's get going. I am going to do one in black, one in white, and then we're going to do a there and back wandering ring pour. So put some music on for you and we'll get started. should be plenty. It's about a half a cup in there. Okay, let me get this goober off of there and move these out of the way so I don't tip them with my elbow or something. I'm klutzy like that. Okay. gonna start right in the middle and we're gonna go from here to there and back again <laughs> I don't know if you know the story about how I named it um, I was watching 
Mina, and she did a wandering ring pour. I think it was eyelashes. And then I watched Massey Boys, and they did a Lord of the Rings themed pour. And yeah, the two combined to make up this wandering ring pour, hobbit lore pour called, oops, called There and Back Again. A hobbit's pour. <laughs> so, all right, there we go. And that is looking pretty cool. I'm going to wreck it down the middle. I'm gonna go this way on this one. And then I'm gonna go this way on this one. All right, I'll give it a torch. Hopefully not too many cells, but I wouldn't count on that because I got so many air bubbles. Look at that. So many air bubbles from just mixing this. I probably should have waited about an hour or so to get all the air bubbles out, but oh well. Live and learn, right? Okay, give them both a gentle tilt. Just kind of walk it down. Stretch it out. Back in the center, bring down what I don't care for. Bring it back. actually kind of liking just the minimalist line through there. Okay, let's see if we can get the same thing going on this one. All right, ooh, don't wanna get it on there. All right, so just kind of a gentle rocking back and forth motion. kind of rock it back down and get that big black blob off of the bottom there. Hopefully it won't stretch out too much. And just a gentle back and forth. Okay, now go back this way with it. paint from this one on the white paint from that one. Cool. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. All right. We will come back and see how they dry. Back in a bit. And they are all done and dry. Let's go around this way. Really pretty. I really like how they came out. And here, I'll put the flash on so you can see the shimmer. I think I can get the flash on. Let me see. Watch out, I'm gonna zoom you in so I can get the flash on. There we go. There you go, and now you can see the shimmer. Yeah, I think they came out really nice. Okay, that's it. Till next time, loves and hugs y'all. Bye!